okay hi guys so in this lecture we'll be continuing on seeing more examples of other one to eliminations or dehalogenations okay so let's get started the first example in the series of um, examples is we have something like ch3 h br and br at ch3 here and we pass it on zinc with zinc dust and we heat it so what would be the product so if you just look at the sawhorse formula you can see that we have something like for the first carbon we have br hcs3 here and for the second carbon we have h br and cs3 here so both of the cs3 are cis to each other or in the same side and so we will have formation of cis okay so zinc actually what is the what it does is zinc zinc actually um, uh, ionization potential converts into Zn plus 2 and 2 electrons okay and these two electrons actually go on attacking on the Br so finally we have formation of Zn Br2 okay again E to elimination takes place here oh sorry don't e2 even it uh, even e2 reaction means uh, eliminations on uh, one and two carbon one two elimination takes place here okay So next we talk about something like this we have okay by the way I didn't uh, I forgot to explain how did the two electrons actually come into the picture and how does that and we are to form actually when, when when you can see that at the at the time of bond breaking and bond formation in the case of uh, BR we can see that this BR can be this BR is coming in contact with two electrons okay and this BR will be leaving as BR minus only and the bond formation of Zn Br2 happens later so first the cleavage of uh, this bond formation of this double bond and the cleavage of this bond happens so this leaves us BR minus so leaving a positive charge here this leaves us BR plus but, but two electron gives it br minus charge so here formation of negative charge as the br plus is uh, leaving so c gets a negative charge hence a double bond is formed okay we have another example as something like this cs3 and cs3 what happens we if we pass it with alcoholic koh obviously we would have something like this again the E2 reaction takes place in which we would be getting something like obviously you have to draw the sawhorse formula and see how the product is formed CH3 and PH so how is it formed so what happens is uh, in alcoholic KOH uh, the KOH will be obviously attacking on uh, this hydrogen so this should be anti to it so we will be draw the conformers of it this is the first carbon atom so pH we have CS3 Br here and we have CS3 H and pH here so this should be anti to each other so let's rotate this so we will get something like this Br pH and then we get pH here CS3 here at 
uh, not uh, not not exactly we would get h we have to be here then cs3 would be here and ph would be something on this side okay so then the cleavage of uh, br and h or the anti elimination takes place and now we will have something like this as our this bond cleavage this bond is cleaved then we would have something like ph here ph here and cs3 and cs3 here so we would have a uh, e configuration not a z1 okay so this is wrong this is right okay now we would have something like cs3 here br here h cs3 and again ph here so what happens in this case is uh, already these two are anti to each other only okay so the cleavage can happen or they cannot i think we still need to rotate because these are not uh, anti to each other they are gauche to each other okay so in the sawhorse formula let me draw it we would have something like this is the first carbon bh cs3 ph and cs3 hn pr ph budget sorry okay uh, uh bigger burden we are reacting again with alcoholic koh only okay so the e2 mechanism is uh, we have uh, we have we want e2 mechanism to to happen okay so we have here something br cs3 here ph here and then we have again if we rotate it we would be getting something like ph and h and cs3 over here we are rotating this as anti clockwise okay now br and ph are anti br and h are anti clockwise to each other hence the bond cleavage can happen finally the product form would be something like again a anti or a z or a e sorry okay so product form in both the cases are same okay now let's look at another example where we have something like this and this will be trying to do uh, mentally and will derive the answer without making the sawhorse so projection okay we have br here h and cs3 here and we pass it on in zinc dust so what will happen is first we have to rotate so that two brs are anti to each other so this br should be positioned at the position of h okay so how should we be rotating we should be rotating 120 degree anti clockwise and cs3 would be here something uh, br would be here and h would be here okay so as cs3 would be here we would get something like this as the result okay so with this we come to an end of the examples of other e1 e2 eliminations now we'll be talking about elimination unimolecular or e1 reaction okay so suppose we have something like this and we pass it on to either react it with etoh or we pass, we pass it with etoh and we heat it also so in the first case what will happen is sn1 reaction would happen okay 
and the product form would be something like will the intermediate would be a carbocation and a CS3 okay again it will be reacting with ETOH and ETO minus will be adding on to this carbocation and if you actually heat it then what actually what happens is we would be getting the positive charge at again the carbocation but uh, in this case let me let me draw the structure so again the carbocation form would be same but in the intermediate but in the after when we react it with ETOH in the above case what will happen is uh, obviously OET would be attached on this carbon atom okay but in this case ETOH would be acting as a base and would be taking on this carbon atom uh, this hydrogen atom from the carbon atom so we'd get a negative charge on the carbon atom and hence a result is a double bond between these two carbon atoms and CS3 with the release of ETOH again and H plus released from this ETO minus would be getting attached with BR attached from the previous step. Okay, so this would be the result. Okay, let us talk about the characteristics of this reaction. So characteristics is simple we have first that rate is proportional to the concentration of RBR as was the case in SN1 reaction because ultimately RBR is uh, going to determine the RDS by becoming R positive in the intermediate or R plus okay so second point is more stable carbocation more is the rate okay third point is uh, this, uh, this is the elemental effect okay it's, it's determined on by the uh, stability of R plus in the intermediate only okay so just two points here is so just we have solvolysis plus low temperature then actually SN1 reaction takes place and if we have solvolysis plus high temperature then actually E1 reaction takes place okay just remember this even if you don't remember we will be solving so many examples on the same concepts that by the end of the practice solving you will be uh, expert in uh, writing reaction mechanisms for any of the reaction which uh, comes in the examination so with this we come to an end of this lecture in the next lecture we'll be doing some practice on even reactions okay till then good luck and goodbye